Have you ever wanted to plant blueberries or some other kind of shrub in pots or, or grow bags? Well, that's what we're going to do today. So welcome to Do It Yourself with Wayne. Today we're going to be planting blueberry bushes in grow bags mostly. I do have one pot that I'll be planting one in. Uh, we have several different kinds of amendments for the soil. We'll be showing you all that as we move along. So let's get started. First off, I got peat moss. Now this is uh, Canadian sphagrum peat moss. Uh, it's three cubic feet in this bag. I got two bags of a garden soil that includes uh, cow manure, some a little bit of soil, some sand, a few other things. It's supposed to be really good for your garden anyway. I got a bunch of leaves uh, that have been mulched up from my yard. They're about a year and a half old. And I'm trying to get about a third and a third and a third as far as volume is concerned. And then on top of that, I'm going to add some soil from my uh, regular garden and also um, some soil from two different raised beds behind me. That will help get the microbes and stuff into the soil and get those started so that the, uh, the microbes, and I don't want to go into all the science behind that because it takes take too long, but the microbes assist in the plants being able to take up the nutrients that you put in the soil when you fertilize them. All right, so let's get going on uh, planting these blueberries in some bath in some uh, grow bags. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is empty my, my peat moss out here in the bed of my trailer. And I'm using my trailer because there's so much volume with all this material. I don't have a good place other than my trailer that I can mix it and not have it out in the ground where I get God knows what in it. Uh, so I'm using my trailer to mix this stuff. I've, as you can see, I've already done one run of this and it worked really well. Um, and unfortunately for me, today we got some bad weather moving in. So it's pretty windy. I hope the wind doesn't mess us up on the audio. Uh, it is gonna make things wanna blow around a little more. So I will wet this stuff down a little bit as I go along to help keep the dust down. But anyway, let's get started with emptying some bags. When you buy peat moss like this, it does come compressed, so a lot of it's clumpy. So you may have a little trouble getting it out of the bag. You'll also have a lot of lumps that you'll need to break up. As you can see how dusty that is. Like see this clump here? Yeah, you have to break all that stuff up. doesn't take much but uh, you do have to break up the clods a bit now I'm gonna go ahead and wet this a little bit before I put the soil on it One other thing you may notice is that peat moss doesn't tend to absorb water really good. I'm also going to put some on these leaves because, like I said, it's windy out here a bit and that'll help keep things from blowing around so much. It won't be so dusty on me. All right, let's mix that a little bit. You can see how dusty this still is, even with the water I've put on here. As you can see, this peat moss just ain't soaking up the water very good. All right, now let's empty our bags of soil. And this soil, is uh, Pete's lawn and garden soil. Not that I necessarily recommend them. Um, 
Uh, it should be good soil, but I have used other brands before. Okay, let's mix that just a little. All right, now I'm gonna dump the leaves in there. After I dumped the leaves, I went ahead and got the garden soil that I was talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and dump that now. It looks like I got a little more than I intended to, but I think that'll be okay. But all the peat moss and stuff I got and the leaves, uh, I think it'll mix in just fine. And now for the hardest part. Let's get all this mixed together. You know, sometimes it's amazing the things you can forget to do. Um, I showed you how to finish potting that red pot, and I, I potted this one. I showed you how to do that, but I never hit record on the camera. So now I'm going to pot another one and tell you what I told you that I didn't record. <laughs> so anyway, let's start filling up this other grow bag. Okay, I've got this grow bag well, from that side up to about there. And when you plant a blueberry plant, when you buy them in pots like this, and I think they said this plant's two years old, two or three, I forget now. But whatever the top of the soil is in the pot here, when you purchase it, you want to be the same level when you get through transplanting it in here. So I want this to be right there, I want it to be a little bit deeper than that. So I move some of this dirt back a little bit. And right there. Now there, it looks like the top of this is about level with the top of my grow bag. But the soil in this grow bag is going to compress down as you water it. And as some of the ingredients or the mixture starts to decompose and stuff. So I'm going to leave it a little bit full like that. Well, I need to take it out of the pot. like that so there we go that's about where I want it the top right now of the the soil that came in the blueberry pot is about an inch below the top of my grow bag and I think that'll be okay so now I'm going to finish filling this thing up with soil from my mixture Now, I know that looks like a lot, but this stuff, you want to press it down some, pull it away from the top. And after I press it down, the top of what was in the, the pot where I purchased it is right here. Actually, it's just a little bit high. So I'm going to add just a little more soil there. I might have gotten this one just a little bit too high higher than the other ones anyway, but I think it'll be fine. But that'll be fine. I'll water all these real good and uh, get them set out. 
Now, just a little, couple little tidbits about blueberries. They like to be planted at least in pairs. They do better if they've got a, a, another plant to cross pollinate. So if you buy blueberry bushes, it's best if you can get at least two and try to get two that produce about the same time of the year. Now I've got, well, I got eight plants, but you think, let's talk about six of them. Six of them, two of them produce, tend to produce early, two mid-season and two late-season. And I will pair those up when I put them out around my garden so that the pairs match up for the season that they produce so they can cross-pollinate and they'll do better. Uh, I got one, the one that's here. Uh, the variety there is called Pink Lemonade. Now, supposedly the pink lemonade doesn't have to cross-pollinate with another blueberry bush, so you can plant those by themselves. So that's, that red pot will be put uh, next to our front door where we can see it every day coming and going. Hopefully it'll do good there. And also, if you saw my previous video about the soil pH test pen that I bought from the Blue Lab, um, the problem that I've had with blueberries in the past, I'm pretty sure, was the soil pH was way too alkaline. Uh, blueberries like an acidic soil. So I'll be using that test pen to uh, test the soil in these things. I'll be doing a video about that and talking more about blueberries in the future. So if you want to see my future videos, uh, if you click like on this video, uh, subscribe to my channel, make it easier for you to find my future videos about blueberries, uh, about that soil pH test pen, as well as gardening and DIY stuff around the house in general. So at this point, I'd just like to say thank you for visiting, do it yourself with Wayne, and we hope you have a great gardening season.